Hello dear students, welcome to Exeometricos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2017. So we are here with this problem number 13 and this problem is from linear algebra. So let us have a look on this problem, what it says. So let M is equal to, so we have a 2 cross 2 matrix M and x is a 2 cross 1 vector 3 comma 4 then what they are asking limit n goes to infinity m to the power n x this is what they are asking right so in order to determine m to the power n we need to determine the pattern okay so i will talk on that later because uh, we have to calculate m to the power n here now what are all your options that a does not exist uh, this will converge to this vector, this vector and this vector. So these are your options. Okay. That means you need to calculate just that limit. So what you have to do in order to calculate m to the power n, right? So what we have, okay, so we have, let me write m, okay m is equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 0 and 1. So this is my 2 cross 2 matrix, right? Now what I have to do, firstly I have to calculate this m to the power n. So what I will do, I will calculate this by, uh, by looking at the pattern at which this m to the power, uh, at which the power of m's are increasing, okay? So what I am talking, I will show you here. So let me do my first step that is m square. Okay. So what is m square? m dot m. So I have already done calculation. I am not doing that again. So you have to just multiply this matrix. Okay. m dot m. So matrix multiplication is what you know already. So what you will get after multiplying this, you will get 1 by 4. 3 by 8 and 0 and 1. This is what you will get, right? Now, let me do my second step that is m cube. So, for m cube, what I will do, I will multiply m square dot m. So, since I have done already calculations, so I will write the answer directly. So, it will be 1 by 8. 7 by 16 and it will be 0 and this will be 1 again. Okay. Now let me do my third step. So that is m to the power 4. So m to the power 4, I can do m square dot m square or I can do m cube dot m. Right? You can do any of that. m square dot m square. So if you will multiply this, then what you will get, you will get 1 over 16 over, and you will get here 15 over 32 and you will get 0 and 1. Okay. So now let us consider that uh, this is your m to the power n. Okay. m to the power n and I am writing this as a11, a12, a21, a22. Right. So now I need to figure out the pattern, okay. So the first term is 1 by 2, okay. I am trying to figure out what will be this quantity, A11, okay. So first, first number is from here, right. Now second one is here, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, and then third one is 1 by 8, okay. This is how it is increasing not increasing actually it's decreasing the sequence is decreasing so at the end where, where i will reach i will reach at a1 okay this is my nth term right so you see a general pattern here yeah you can see that because it's 1 by 2 it's 1 by 2 to the square it's 1 by 2 to the power cube and it's 1 by 2 to the power 4 so that means in uh, in the nth case what you will get okay so i will write this this is a single thing okay so if this is 1 by 2 to the power 1 
when you are getting 1 by 2 to the power 1 when you have just m to the power 1 right when you are squaring it up what you are getting you are getting 1 by 2 to the square when you are cubing it what you are getting 1 by 2 to the cube so what will happen at the nth step you will get 1 by 2 to the power n right so this is the value of what a11 so i have all already done a11 i have calculated a11 now let me calculate a12 okay we don't need to calculate a21 and a22 because they are same so i just need to calculate this element right so now see what is the first term in this sequence the first term is 1 by 2 4 sorry 1 by 4 then you are getting 3 by 8 right 3 by 8 then you are getting uh, what 7 by 16 okay i need to figure out the pattern and then it's 15 by 32 right so now at the nth position what you will get you will get a1 now i need to figure out uh, what that pattern is so when the power of m is just 1 then what you are getting you are getting 1 by 2 to the square right that means 1 by 2 to the square okay let me write like this okay so you are getting 1 by 2 to the square now in this case what you are getting in the denominator you are getting 1 by 2 to the power 3 right okay and here also you are getting 2 to the power 4 and here you are getting 2 to the power 5 right so now let us try to uh, figure out this this is 3 this is 7 this is 15 okay i will write that part here 1 3 uh, 7 sorry and then 15 so what kind of pattern you are noticing here okay this is this is 2 to the power 0 this is 2 to the power uh, okay sorry okay i should write 2 to the power 1 okay in order to create such pattern this is 2 to the power 1 minus 1 right this is 2 to the power 2 minus 1 this is 2 to the power 3 minus 1 okay correspond this to this and this one is 2 to the power 4 minus 1 right you are getting my point or not so what will be the nth term so you got the pattern for the denominator and now you got the pattern for the numerator also. So what will be A12? A12 will be, uh, okay, let me calculate that again. So this one, which I have written here, this one is for uh, when M has power 1, then you are getting 2 over here, right? Now when M has power 2, you are getting what? You are getting 3 over here. That means in the nth power, in the denominator, you will get 2 to the power n plus 1. In the numerator, it is same. It is 2 to the power n minus 1. Right. You are getting my point or not? So, this is how we should actually approach to get this nth term. Okay. So, now let me uh, just clear this thing uh, for you. So, okay. Okay. So now I have calculated everything. Okay, I have calculated my m to the power n. So let me write that. So uh, m to the power n will be what? It will be uh, it will be uh, what is a11? It's 1 by 2 to the power n, right? And this one is 2 to the power n uh, minus 1, right? Now, this one is 2 to the power n plus 1. And here you are getting 0 and 1. This is your matrix, final matrix. Now, if you will multiply this with x, and what is your x vector that is given to you? It's 3, 4, right? And you need to find out this limit, okay? So, it's just a constant. It has no n inside it, so I can directly calculate my limit. You are getting my point or not? Without multiplying, I will firstly evaluate limit. So, this is constant. So, it will have no effect. I will evaluate the limit of this. 
and then I will uh, I will get my answer. Now you know that as n goes to infinity, this de denominator will go will go to infinity because two to the power infinity is infinity. So this thing should be zero. Now uh, now let us see here. For here, what you have to do, you have to actually break the LCM. So if you will break its LCM, what you will get there, you will get 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 to the power n plus 1. Are you getting my point or not? Okay. Because if you will directly do, you will get infinity over infinity. So for that matter, you have to break its uh, LCM. So if you will break its LCM from here, you will get this term there. So now evaluate limit for this one. So you will get 1 by 2. And here you are getting 0 and 1. Are you getting my point? So this is 3 and this is 4. Right. Okay. So now if you will multiply these two matrices. So you will get 2 and 4 as your answer. That means your C option is correct. Are you getting my point? Okay. So now let me mark uh, these answers. 